Hello everyone, welcome back to the pub and um, yeah, I think this might be the last episode for this particular run. Um, hold on one second. The inevitable checking and recording pause there. Yeah, so the, the fortress is, I don't know, people are miserable and the general happiness seems to be constantly declining. And um, so I played yesterday for... Well, I don't know. I, I recorded about an hour of of stuff, and basically nothing happened. No attacks, no um, no artifacts made or anything too exciting. So I thought I might just retire the fortress for a bit. I think maybe if we leave this fortress, possibly I'll go and build another one somewhere else, and then come back later on. But I think I'll have a break from Dwarf Fortress just because I've been playing it quite a lot and uh, you know it's always good to take a break so as you can see I sort of got started on this we've built the roof this is the rock salt temple I've started putting some statues around nothing too amazing but um, yeah started putting some statues got some like rock salt thrones that I'm putting in but um, yeah nothing I don't know things seem to be slowing down here at the at the Red Lion pub, and I thought maybe we'll just retire things, and then the the uh, dwarves can just sort of run things there on their own, you know, on their own merit or whatever. I'll put a floor there for some reason, not to worry. Yeah, so we'll take one last look at the fort at the uh, pub, which is also a fortress. <laughs> yeah. These rooms no one ever uses, but you know, there's someone having a nap in the library there. Fell asleep at his table. Riloth outraged lunches. The trap is still not finished. We've got quite a lot of the bits in place here. Um, but yeah, that's that's going to take forever. And I, I did start smoothing away these walls to make archer towers. But, um, yeah, this you know I might come back to this fortress in the future. Um, and I also, oh god, the wagons have arrived. The wagons have bypassed my inaccessible site. Well, I don't need the wagons yet. Maybe I should leave the fortress with some wagons. Uh, let's let's put the trade depot in. Yeah, so. As you can see, I started putting tables in here, just as a a way to try and get the mood of the people up. I even put a legendary table in here. But yeah, and also here, you can see I've started putting the, the workshops in for the food production. That's going to be in the lower level of the fortress. But whether that improves morale or not, I don't know. It's um, It seems to be a slow process. And yeah, I reckon, I've got a theory, if I leave the fortress, work on something else and then come back in the future as long as the fortress has survived well, there's no guarantee of that but it, as long as it has then maybe maybe people will be in a better mood without me running the place maybe it's just my presence here um, I also started the idea of building a, a dungeon down here because people were just going mad and killing each other and getting angry and stuff but it, that will have to be a, a project that remains on hold for the time being. So yeah. I put a little road here that leads up to the temple. So. Right, there we go. We've got a trade depot. So. Seems to be a giant magpie attacking us. Come on, bouncers. Do your job. Oh, look at that. What's this? Someone's intestines there. Oh, is it him? Is his, is his gut hanging out? His lower body's torn open. Gouting his blood. His guts are spilled. Oh, my. No, please. Please, dwarves. Please, everybody. Get here quickly. Dead. He's dead. Spilled guts. Well, 
there's a little bit of action for us. I suppose that's as as exciting as it's going to get. Oh. Uh, You know what I've just done? Oh my god. I've just this this is the biggest problem with this squad menu, right? This when you set a me when you, when you set Oh god, I can't oh, I'm so angry at this because it's such a stupid design. When you set them like an order, like go and station somewhere or go and kill this, that's how you cancel the orders. This X disbands the entire squad. Ooh. Oh I'm so angry at that. For some reason it didn't disband the ships of polishing. Oh, the back. The tactical basements somehow. The other squad is not there. Oh my god, I'm so annoyed. Well, I'm I'm glad I'm retiring the fortress now. Okay. So, retire the fortress for the time being. Really retire? The world will be saved, but you will need to unretire the fort to play again. Yes, that's fine. Your fortress will be settled into the rhythm of day-to-day -day living beyond your meticulous concern. All right. Good. Okay. Good. Um, I want to go into Legends. I think I can do it from here. Right, here we are. Legends. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Search for Red Lion. The last merchant of the craft of mechanisms at the settlement of Red, Red Lion regained their senses after an initial period of questionable judgment. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess that's that's what happened at the end there. They uh, regain their senses. <laughs> so, um, craft of mechanisms, the dwarven civilization. This was our civilization that didn't have any uh, people in it for some reason, or didn't have any sites. Trying to find what happened before the founding of Red Lion. <laughs> in the late autumn of eighty nine, the dwarf Dobar stock. Didactics, whatever that says, began embezzling funds at the as the outpost liaison of the craft of mechanism. So there was corruption. Yeah. So here's here's what happened here in '63. The forgotten beast, the heart of cancers, destroyed Touchcraft. So Touchcraft was a fort was our fortress. So that's what happened to us. That's why we had no sights. Yeah, the Forgotten Beast just came in and just trashed everything. So yeah, there's a little bit of history about our civilization, the craft of mechanisms. And uh, yeah, I can't see any other fortress in there. So I think what happened is, from the dawn of time, we had one fortress, which we kept up for like, what, 60 odd years, 64 years or something. Three, three years we kept the fortress going. And then we were destroyed by a forgotten beast. And then we founded Red Lion. The, the remaining stragglers founded Red Lion. And that that's basically was our only hope of survival. So, yeah, probably a good idea that I retired it before we entered the death spiral of misery. And, um, yeah, I might continue this civilization in a future fortress. Um, there is a volcano nearby that I want to have a look at. So... Yeah, that's been a little look at our legends. I will probably return at some point. We're going to have a little break from Dwarf Fortress. I think I've been hammering hammering it a bit hard recently. And, uh, you know, you don't want to get burnt out on Dwarf Fortress. Plus, it is a bit niche. Not many people watch the playthroughs. I probably will continue expanding this particular empire because I'm quite interested in it. And, um, yeah, all right. Hope you enjoyed the series so far. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.